For decades, this nation has been held hostage by countries that do not like us, and we paid through the nose for it. Federal regulation has created a wall between our God-given natural energy resources and energy producers. We must tear down this wall. I wanted to tell you about Washington County, not only because it's my home, but because we are a stellar example of what America can be, an energy generator and a creator of family-sustaining jobs. All we have to do is tap into the energy that is right under our feet. Together with natural gas and coal fueling two-thirds of our nation's power and with new technologies, Washington County has become the energy capital of the East. With energy independence, I am certain that America can become the new energy capital of the world. In fact, Washington County was recently ranked third in the nation in job growth by the U.S. Department of Labor. The rate of growth in our county was 4.3% for a total of 1,650 plus new jobs just last year in Washington County. Our residents have also seen an 8.8% increase in their weekly wages. We're talking about the fact that these, uh, the shale gas revolution that is taking place in this country is providing an economic revolution. It's, and the jobs that are created with this revolution, you don't have to become a, uh, a fancy, fancy uh, college graduate, Ivy League graduate who knows Aristotle uh, and Plato to get these jobs. These are good blue collar working class jobs. We work besides just natural gas, we work in steel mills and we work with industry, we work with developers. And the what natural gas prices that you're seeing stuff manufacturing returning to Pennsylvania. Low gas prices equates to manufacturing jobs. Mm -hmm. Flat out. Heavy manufacturing like steel work. Energy costs is king. It's more than labor costs. Now there's everybody talks about outsourcing work and stuff like that. By making energy prices cheap, cheaper than it is in China, we are now competitive with the Chinese even though they have a much lower costs for their labor force, their energy costs are higher. We compete on a level field with China now. Why would we send money to countries to hate us when we can send it to our neighbors and here who obviously support us and would circulate the money back around and go to restaurants and basically invest back in their community? I mean, when we send money over to OPEC to buy oil and, and other supplies, they're not exactly sending us love back here. But if you want money for people with minds that hate,